Uh, $15 from Anti Lemon, longtime donator, last time watcher, or however that saying goes. Just donating to say GLHF to Sell and Grim. I'll donate 15 more dollars to Sell's Choice if he says Anti Please. $50 from Jared48. Hey, Grimelios, just letting you know I managed to wake up early enough to catch the defunct race live. Best of luck to both runners. $100 from Zapni. Good luck on your run. $10 from Melvacross. I just have to donate at the defunct race. The game looks so much fun to run. Grim, I cross my fingers for you. Bring home the gold medal. The money goes to, of course, killing the animals. $150 from Inward Chaos. I've never had the pleasure of playing defunct myself, but I've watched my brother Epic Cat run the game on many occasions. I have great respect for all runners, and I want to thank you for putting your skills to use supporting a great cause. $30 from Three of Cards. First time donating. Good luck with all the runs. If this gets red, I'll donate another 20. Friendly reminder to get your donations in for the Omnibus Choose the Hat. Ice Cream Cone is currently in the lead with $347. Park Ranger Hat is now in second with 120 and Baseball Cap trailing at 78. $50 donation from Sasha. I wish that sleeping wasn't required because I feel like I keep missing runs. I want to see. Can't wait for the runs to be up on YouTube to watch later. Anyways, save those animals. Fusion is canon. Also, I seem to remember hearing some frames saying that the other M is canon. Those frames must die. $25 from the Mighty TC. All of our love from the Toner Low podcast. Kill the mangy animals. Their meager pixel count cannot amount to the loss of precious frames. Thanks for making us smile every year. $10 from C40. Konasumi, I remember when I routed Omnibus and you asked me, do you think you'll find a sub 30 minute route? Just look at you now, my man. Sad I couldn't be there with you all, but GL with a fast negative nine. Friendly reminder that if you donate $50 cumulatively, to, cumulatively, cumulatively today only, um, you will be entered to win a PS4 Pro with Final Fantasy 15. That is today only. 50 bucks cumulatively. $5 from Zave8. Konasumi might be the most beautiful person I've ever seen in my life. Good luck, brother.
We have $5 from Gubbins. I wish I had more to give. Much love to Kiwi, Kona, and Skelly in this incredible game. Bus hype? Okay, I pulled your voice up a little bit. Okay, let me raise the game. Hold on. Is that a good volume on the game, or you want more? Coming up after this, we've got an interview for the Tony Hawk block, Poi Any Percent, Tony and the Tony Hawk block, starting with Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2, all goals and golds. You guys on the couch good with volume? Cool. All right, so when we're all ready and everything's good, I'll let you guys, uh, well, the host will throw to you, then the mics will go live. We have three of cards with another $20 donation. I'm a man of my word. Congrats to all the runners and excited to see the upcoming runs all week. Okay, guys, I'm going to tell the host to throw to you. We're good to go. And now we're ready for Omnibus Any Percent by Konasumi and Mr. Bus. Good luck. <laughs> All right, am I live? All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to Omnibus. Uh, my name is Konasumi, and here we're going to do a quick couch roll call. First, we have the one and only Mr. Bus behind me. Say hello. <laughs> you can introduce yourselves. Uh, I'm the Blue Cosmonaut. I'm Skellicat. I'm Kiwi. And yeah, this is a, uh, a physics-based driving game about driving a bus, which is uh, pretty fun. <laughs> All right, ready on time? All right, three, two, one, go. All right, welcome to Omnibus, the first level. So this level is called Tomb Hater, and we have to de destroy a bunch of tombs as fast as possible here. And we can do that by smashing through walls with our bus. So the gimmick about this game is that the bus is always moving forward, and you cannot use your brakes at all. So the only control you really have is steering for the most part. And you can go through whatever objects you want. That was the first mission. And now let's go skydiving, because that sounds like fun. You've got to get a license. If I do barrel rolls here, I can make it through all the platforms without having much trouble. There we go. And also, may I ask, uh, which hat won the donation incentive? Ice cream cone. All right, great. You'll be seeing that in, uh, in a little bit from now. That's when I can unlock it. So this is our first platforming level here. Yes, there are platforms in this bus game. And we can use the speed pads and the bump pads to make our way around the level. And off into the target. We can also do flips too, because that's really cool. So if you like Tony Hawk, you'll like this level. We're gonna become Tony Hawk's Pro Bus by getting $10,000 in tricks. All right, back flips, this is looking good. Should get a lot of money from this, but I might hit the bumper. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I might land you got it. This. I might land this. it. You got it. Yeah, ah, there yeah. we go. Let's 40k go. in the bank. <laughs> that was amazing. Oh yeah, it's 4th of July too, so we have firework and we're gonna put on a firework show for everybody. But the catches are bumpers everywhere and a lot of speed pads in our way. And we'll use them to our advantage. Have you ever seen a bus go 200 miles per hour? 
And that's the end of World 1 here, and now we're on to World 2. We're starting off at a later mission to skip a cutscene. This is Sir Bus, and we're at a tour place. And we have to make sure at least one person survives the tour while visiting all of the important landmarks on the city. All right, gonna get a speed boost into this last one here. It doesn't really matter what happens <laughs> after the tour. Yeah, it, it's all fine. All that matters is that we complete the mission. So now there's the, the statue here that we have to knock his head off. Shortest mission in the game right here. And he's done. So this is Ape Buster. We gotta go take out this giant monkey on this building. He's throwing cars at us. Gonna carefully navigate my way up here. I'm using the keyboard for this level, so I can have a little bit more precision. All right, looking good so far. Have to avoid all the cars that are falling out of his hand, obviously, and not this guy. But yeah, you can actually go like many more times around that and still make it up, but it gets really hard the more you do it. But it is fast. And one thing I forgot to mention, you can skip uh, the ending dialogue box by pressing Y. And we just figured that out recently, and it saves quite a bit of time overall. So now we're going to go rob a bank, if I can make it. <laughs> I barely missed it there. I'll go for the uh, the safer version of that strat. ka -ching. <laughs> So all these, all this money is spread out over the city, and the bags are worth less than the money cubes here. Just gonna race around and collect as many as we can. And the main thing about Omnibus is that if you flip over on your back or stop moving for whatever reason, uh, you'll have to redo the entire level. There's no checkpoints at all, even in some of the harder levels later. All right, just working our way around here, and that should be it. That was nice. And now we're on to our first boss battle. This is the Doom Bus, and he's rampaging through the town, and we have to go stop him and save everybody. This mission can be a bit finicky, but there is a setup for it that usually works pretty well. Going right into the back here, took a the engine. That was a good start, actually. And then I'll turn around here, go on the bounce pad, and hopefully get some more. Come on, take out that engine. Nope. Okay, that was close, but I should get him on this hit here. Nice, that was a good Doom bust. <laughs> and that marks the end of World 2. And now we're going to the moon, because that's what buses do. So now we're in space. We're doing it a little out of order again to save time on the cutscenes. And this is the gravity bus. So the gimmick of this bus is that you can change gravity to go wherever your wheels are pointed or where the arrow is uh, pointed towards. I can flip here and press the A button to slam down. And pretty soon you'll see why, uh, why we have to go to the moon here. But it links in with the deep emotional narrative of the game. This game is a lot of lore, yeah. Yeah, it's very, uh, it's very good. Gonna make my way towards this thing here. And we did it, mission complete. So yeah, by going to a later level, you can combine two of those into one. Saves a little bit of time. So remember how we robbed the bank earlier? So the police found out and they want to impound us. So the only thing we can do is escape to the moon because we don't want to be in jail, because jail sucks. <laughs> All right, three out of four. By equipping our bus with Mountain Dew, a, ro a rocket, and a propeller, we can fly to the moon with ease. All right, so here we go. We're gonna get the hat right now in this level. Should be the right cycle, I hope. Got it, there's the hat. 
There's the ice cream cone. Thank you for donating for that. I hope you enjoy it. So for this one here, you actually have to wait a little bit before you can uh, exit out. So now we're, we're a farmer. We got to get 150 corns collected. But the trick is uh, bumpers spawn all the time, and you have to avoid those. They're called the bumper crop. Just making our way around. So the way the bumpers spawn in this, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I, uh -oh. Think, uh, uh -oh. I think it's over. Out of there? <laughs> Yeah, that's a pretty common occurrence right there. Yeah, I gotta be careful not to trip over the scarecrows. It's actually pretty easy to uh, trip over pretty much anything in this game. But the bumper spawns are all fixed, so you can kind of drive around a certain way and you'll get less of them. You can kind of predict where they're gonna be. Going around here for a bit. Oh boy, I almost hit that one there. That would've been bad. <laughs> Not gonna say anything until it's officially over. I got you. $25 from Anonymous. Best of, best of luck on the run, Kona. Also, shout outs to Jiki for the incredible Mr. Bus cosplay. Oh yeah, Jiki's cosplay behind me is just phenomenal. <laughs> so realistic. So, there's a wedding going on on the moon, and we have to drop off all these astronauts at the wedding. <laughs> and we do that by flipping over the bus, obviously. It's the fastest way to do it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this oh. isn't... I got it. There we go. <laughs> Saved. Nice trip. We have to put them all in that green... Uh-oh. Please don't flip over. Oh. oh. Yeah, nice. there we go. <laughs> I got lucky there with that. This run flashed before my eyes. Yep, and everyone's at the wedding. Don't forget Happily to uh, equip the hat. Oh, that's right. Because you do the cutscene skip, it doesn't equip the hat. But yeah, here you go. There's the ice cream cone. Isn't it beautiful? This is what you all donated for. So now we're on to our second boss fight, which is the UFO. This one's a bit harder to predict than the first one, because the UFO has a couple set spots it can go to. But the thing is, it moves about them randomly, and it's hard to predict where it's going to go. Okay, hit a bumper, but I should be fine. I hope. I spoke too soon. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, no. oh. Okay. Oh. Wait. Please. Oh. No. <laughs> I barely hit that. Sometimes what can happen is that you'll kind of bounce up again after you uh, initially hit the UFO and you'll get a second hit in, but there's no way to really control that, unfortunately. Oh, did I really hit him twice? <laughs> I don't think I saw myself hit him, but hey, I'll take it. Yeah, I don't know how you hit that. <laughs> and, oh, come oh. on. <laughs> the jukes. All right, hopefully this time around will be the trick. No! Oh. <laughs> this boss, man, <laughs> so unforgiving. <laughs> This time, I hope. Nope. Oh. I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, once again, Force tries a charm. There we hey, go. Hey. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're on to World 4, which is the Old West. And now we're introduced to the Barrel Bus, which holds liquid inside of it. And we have to deliver all the liquid over to the saloons here, going back in time. Yeah, you can read our donation if you want. We have some time here. You got it. $5 from Cordillo. Love watching you play Omnibus, Konosumi. Stay as you are. Okay, something bad happens, but I saved it. <laughs> I should have enough. There we go. Yeah, you have to be very, very cautious to avoid the TNT here. Because it'll send you flying if you hit it. So now, we're, since we're in the Old West, let's go ahead and uh, deliver some cows, shall we? And we have to make sure that at least five of them survive the trip. All right, we lost a bunch, but that's all right. We want to get a certain number of them, and then we're going to thread the needle. All right, I'm 
actually gonna do a loop here. Forgot to reset the level. Resetting the level alters the cycle a bit so you can make it through a bit easier. All right, so now we have the cow bus. So this bus has the special ability of jumping like a real cow. <laughs> and cow I'll be doing lots of barrel rolls. As many as I can for Skelly on the couch. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. What uh -oh. even happened? <laughs> he tripped. <laughs> I tripped over a cactus. Just like a real cow. <laughs> but yeah, a little bit of background on this game. It was made by uh, a a game dev studio called Buddy Cops and published by uh, Devolver Digital. And it's a really fun game. So if you like uh, public transportation, I would definitely suggest checking it out. It is on Steam, I believe, as well as a couple other uh, distribution platforms. Oh, hey, we arrived at the TNT factory. Let's not uh, hit anything, except for that sign. And now we have to make our way through this train here, which of course has more TNT on it. TNT is a pretty common occurrence, you can already tell. Same with the, uh, the pinball bumpers. And now we're saving the cows from the bear trap. So coming up next, we have to go rob a train of $16. <laughs> pretty high stakes here. So I'm going to be doing a strat where I'm going to build up some speed and then enter the train from behind and make my way towards the front. And I'll use the keyboard to adjust my angle a bit. All right, that should be fine. I hope. We'll see. That was almost too late. I was really concerned about that. All right, nice. Nice job. We got $17, actually. <laughs> so now we're on to the negative nine. I'm going to do a strat here that hopefully works. I'm going to go for the TNT launch. And I'll explain a bit more after this. OK, this might work. This might work. Please, give it to you me. Got this. Give it to me. You got yes, it. I yeah! got it. First try. Let's go, man. I'm so hyped. That is by far That's a really hard game. strat so to hard. get. Wow, that's amazing. OK, so let me explain what just happened for those who couldn't catch that. So uh, you have to defeat these nine bandits, and they chase after you. And it's really inconsistent because uh, the AI is just not consistent. And it's, it can be pretty harsh on runs sometimes. And by launching yourself with the TNT, you can get on the, on the platform they spawn on. And uh, they can just all fall off by trying to go to you. Yeah, they always try to drive straight at you. So if you're up on that platform, they'll just drive straight off the edge. <laughs> so now we're on a bridge, and it rotates, and there's bumpers everywhere. So we have to avoid that. OK, this side should be safe, I hope. There we go. You can sometimes tip over on that, and it's pretty concerning. All right, now let's go for that home run that we've all been waiting for. There we go. Nice home run. Thank you, Skelly. <laughs> I love golf. So now for the best soundtrack in the game. And we have to defeat the totem boss with these evil blue clouds surrounding us. Okay, just jumping our way through. I don't know how I didn't get hit by that one blue thing. That was phenomenal. Ooh, okay. That was oh, really oh, close, ooh. but I better land this. Just getting a bit of stall nice. points. You're fine. Nice. nice. And that's the TNT boss done. And now we're moving on to the last level, which is HE Double Hockey Sticks. That's actually what it's called, not censoring it. <laughs> so yeah, we're supposed to collect chickens or something, but it turns out it's all an illusion created by the evil bus driver. 
Uh oh, this can actually be bad. I might uh -oh. die here. Oh. Nope. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta be careful about those bumpers, man. Sneak up behind you. There we go. Made it through safely. So now we're moving on to the final boss of the game, which is the driver. <laughs> and we have to revoke his driver's license. It's gonna go for a speed strat on the boost pad here. Hopefully it works. All right, nice, good angle. It's gonna tap it to increase my speed a bit. 300 miles per hour into his tie. Let's go. And now with the cow bus, we have to go avoid his lasers. And if we get hit by the lasers, they just send us back a bit, slows us down a bit. Almost got hit there. And now for the lob bus, we hit the bumper ball into the hands. And it should work. That was kind of a late, early hit. Uh-oh. Okay, we're fine. Oh, yeah. That almost hit it. <laughs> All right, time's coming up, I hope. That is, if I don't get destroyed by the bumper balls here. And the bumpers. Oh, dang oh, it. Wow. <laughs> oh, no. oh that, was, that was really close. Got to react quickly to make it through properly. All right, let's try to knock his hat hat off. Let's have some fun. Take that, driver. <laughs> He's flying in the distance. Ten dollars from Stairmaster that says "Good luck, Kona." Smiley face. Thank you, Stair, in the audience. All right, let's try this again. Hopefully, we can get an earlier one. That should be fine. Yeah, that's fine. All right, take two, round two. Please work. And, and time. Oh. Wow. What was the uh, final time on that? 1930. That is really, really good. Great. Wow. Yeah, that's nice. yeah, that was excellent. The current world record is uh, a 1602, I recall, by by me. This game's like gotten really optimized in the past couple months here. That's kind of why the estimate was so high, because we found the cutscene skip that I was talking about earlier, as well as a negative nine strats. And uh, yeah, that was a really good run. Do you mind if I show a few things off in, in the meantime? Yeah, OK. Show off the cosplay by Jicky. Is that good? Can we get some hand for Jiggy? Yeah, props to Jiggy for putting that together at the very last minute. It's a really good cosplay. But yeah, can I show some stuff off a little bit? A little bit more? There we go. So one of the glitches, if you listened to the interview earlier, uh, I talked about something called pause storage. And I didn't do it in the run because it's not really applicable all too much. So I'll show you how it works in this level here. This is the auto score that we skip. If I can get it right. No, that was too late. I want to hit the bumper right. There we go. Yeah, that'll be good. If I wait for a little bit, we'll see what happens. Oh, that uh. wasn't long enough. Mm, maybe. That might work. Oh, my controller disconnected. There we go. No. Uh -huh. It's kind of a really tight timing That'll here. But trust me, it will be worth it once I get it. <laughs> you can actually do this on the Doom bus in World 2, but it's incredibly inconsistent. It was found by Ace of Spades, who just ran Cluster Truck, actually. So yeah, there we're outside. The glass walls cannot contain us. And now we're on the moon, so let's go see what's at the, uh, the other side and see if it actually loops around or not. Making our way over there. Just explore the moon a bit. <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty moon-like, as you can probably tell. We can see the sun over there and some of the stars. 
And also one thing to note, uh, the longer you're in the level, the faster your bus becomes. So eventually you'll be going really fast if you stay in this level for a while. Wait a minute, what's that on the horizon there? Yeah, what is that? Looks a little strange. Let's see what's over there. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Is that a cliff? Uh oh. <laughs> uh -oh. See ya, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out the, the moon was actually flat this whole time. But yeah, that was Paws to Origin in a nutshell. It's a really cool glitch. Too bad it can't be used in a run all too much. But I'm also going to show off what the secret levels are like. So, in, in, a couple, in one level per world, actually. Uh, there's a secret star you can you can get, and collecting that will give you access to a secret level, which gives you a unique bus to play as. And we'll be showing off, in one of my opinion, one of the best ones. So for this one, I kind of have to go around here, and then jump towards the star and gravity into it. There we go. So by doing that, I unlocked a secret. So let's go ahead and see what kind of bus we get. All right, some wrestling things going on here. Wrestle the champ. And we can only do that with the shark bus. <laughs> <laughs> We're flexing our arms here, ready to take on the champ <laughs> with an ice cream on our head. The only way to do it. All right, here we go. About to take him down. No match for the shark bus. <laughs> but yeah, there's a bunch of these type of levels. It's actually uh, really interesting. And the all uh, missions category does them all. So if you decide to run the game and you want to try something new, all missions would be fun. But yeah, there he goes. What's happening with the bus? It's going to go in the black hole. Looks like it. Revolving around it. Oh, he's going to the other one now. I think it's game over for a shark bus here. If he decides to go into the black hole. It's getting closer. <laughs> <laughs> Is he going to go in? I don't know if he's going to go in, but I think that's it for Omnibus today. Thanks for watching, guys, and thank you for the couch for being supportive. Yeah, yeah. awesome run, dude. Oh yeah, the bus is small now for some reason. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Awesome run, Conan. Thanks so much for that, man.